eyes are banged and my eyes are still in bed as you can see i don't even know when i ended up in this bedroom it was awful Ooh, i need to go to the bathroom <laughs> um yeah just when you're crying my eyes out but i won't sob on you guys so i'm pretty much gonna show you guys what i do when i wake up so now i'm just gonna turn this light on yay so guys what i'm gonna do right now is i am going to go get some clothes um and then take a shower because that's what i normally do when i wake up i showered um and then i make breakfast and what i'm gonna put on today Alrighty, you guys i have no idea what i'm gonna put on i'm gonna put on this dress i don't know you ever have some clothes that is like so dear to you this dress is one of my favorite i would do i would wake up and then i'll come to the bathroom take a shower brush my teeth and just do my morning routine which is not much honestly because people always ask me like why do you keep your face so clean what do you use i really don't do nothing more than water and soap and then recently i started using this um thingy it's like a brightening whatever neutrogena but you know neutrogena blend is so good with everything they have their lotions and everything so yeah that's what i'm going to do I'll see you guys after hey guys now that I'm out of the shower and I'm all put together I'm like no I'm not putting on the dress today because I wear the dress like all the time so now it's breakfast time let me see what I'm gonna make normally I would just like make breakfast for Billy and I but since I'm alone I'll be make, making breakfast for myself so, what I'm going to make today is, I don't know, I'm probably going to make, I'm going to make Eggs Benedict. I haven't had Eggs, I've had, I haven't had Eggs Benedict in a while. So, for that, you need English muffins, which I have here, and I'm going to make two, so I need two eggs. So to make my eggs benedict, first I'm going to start with making the hollandaise sauce. This is just one egg yolk and a tip of vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you want. I'm using white vinegar for this. And then I'm going to lower this into a sieve over boiling water and just whisk it. You want it to get a little thick. I don't have a big enough bowl, that's why I'm using the sip. So, you just need to whisk over the boiling water. It's kind of like cooking, but you don't want it to be scrambling. Then I'm going to add some melted butter to this. So I had melted butter to the head. And keep whisking. So while that is thickening up, I'm just gonna go in and put my my bacon in to broil for like two minutes. So now that my sauce is finished thickening up, I'm just gonna go in with um, a little bit of lemon juice to give it the zest. So not too much and then i'm just gonna whisk this whisk this together and then season with salt and pepper basic basic seasoning man i'm telling you this they should name salt and pepper the national seasoning of america i swear so salt and pepper not too much yep So now I'm just going to whisk this together and since I already have my hot water running, I'm just going to lower my head because I'm going to pouch 
um, two hags. So I'm just going to lower my hag into the hot water. Ooh, yes. And just let it cook for about a minute or two. And then, but in the meantime, I'm just going to butter my English muffin, put them in the oven to, to brown for like a minute. And then voila, I'll show you guys what it looks like after everything's finished. So guys, I'm finished, you know, I'm just having my breakfast. I'm going to show you guys. So these, I made a little fruit salad thingy. I always like to eat my fruits in the morning. And this is the eggs, Benedict. So this is the hollandaise sauce on top, then the bacon, and then the pouched egg is on top of the bacon. The sauce is like so good on top of the English muffins. And yeah, actually I picked these blueberries the other day. We went blueberry picking, um, watermelon and strawberries. And I just love fruits overall. So I always try to get my fruits in. But yeah, I would just normally sit here and... Bailey would sit there, but it's just me by myself, and I'm going to cry. I mean, I cried already. I'm done crying, guys. I'm just done crying, you know. It is what it is. So, now that I'm finished with breakfast, I would normally sit in the living room for a little bit, grab my computer, and go to writing. Well... It's between two. I always like catch up on my on my series, which I'm actually watching right now, the 70s show. Yeah, I'm so late, guys. I've never seen this movie. Um, Billy told me about it, and I'm like on season five right now. And but if I'm not doing that, I'm here on my laptop just writing my book. I'm almost finished, and. I still can't believe how far I've got. It was just an idea. And the artist part of writing this book for me was actually getting started. It's like, how do I put these words together? And yeah. And just not just putting it together, but like making sure it makes sense. And <clears throat> at first, um,. It came to mind like, ooh, I have this cousin, you know, she's really good at writing and she's an English teacher right now. And I'm like, I'm going to let her help me. And, you know, something happened and she got busy with school and I just started on my own. And right now, it's like I'm almost finished, girl. I have like, um, I have online interviews, um, video chat with publishers and all these meetings and conferences and things like that. And it's like, oh my God my book is coming to life and it's just it's just a wonderful feeling that every one of those words was penned by me because at the end of the day it's my story no one else i could have paid someone to write this book for me but it wouldn't be me it wouldn't be my story because i know my so right about now as you can see i'm just like going this manuscript is so long it's crazy i could keep scrolling 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 and keep going but my book is almost finished guys it is crazy so guys i'm gonna be going writing but before i just want to talk to you guys a little bit about why billy left and why i'm I hear by myself um <clears throat> you know you everyone that watches this channel must know already that Billy is in the military and we live in Alaska like that's in my description but you guys are too busy to read the description of the channel so I'll tell you guys again yeah Billy's in the mil military and we live in Alaska so you know the military's um schedule is never detailed like you never really know <clears throat> what's gonna happen so friday i think or saturday um we're informed that billy will be leaving for the field for three days yeah i know three days is like short compared to like when he has to leave leave for a month or three weeks and like not in the state not in a lot not even close to the house or anything but <clears throat> 
it still comes under I still have a lot of um pressure with whenever he leaves I don't know and it's not that our neighborhood is not safe it's very safe and I really like our neighborhood but it's just that whenever he's not here it's like I can't even function the last time he left for a month all I did was sit in bed buy paper plates eat microwavable food I wouldn't cook just eat snack and it was just like way on me you know but that's the thing with the military that's a part of the life that a lot of people don't want to tell you about but I'll tell you it is very stressful when your partner has to leave sometime when it's just so sudden but it's just the feeling of like you know like Billy is literally my happy place and this has nothing to do with about being clingy because I have to do what I have to do he has to go to work I have to go to work you know but it's like whenever he's not at the house it's like part of my literally like part of my family is missing you know and it just like I can't help but think like every second like what's going on where he is I hope he's safe and then because I get these constant email from the military base like keep an update like oh this soldier was injured during this training session Ooh, drop and landed in some trees broken bones it's like I can't help but think God I hope he's safe I hope no one try to like I know no one's not trying to purposely hurt each other but I hope everyone is taking the 100 person precaution and making everyone come back home safe today. it's important that you know we have the sense of security that okay your partner is gonna come home but with the military it's never guaranteed you know it's a risk they take every day and that's why I literally appreciate like everything that he's that he does for us as a family because it's literally putting his life on the line for his country that he loves so much so so yeah so that's why I'm by myself but by the time you guys see this video Billy would be probably gonna come home yeah so he left from Monday to Wednesday that's three days so by the time you guys see this video he'll probably be on his way back but thank you guys for watching today and I appreciate you guys for sticking around with me. I know sometimes I'm not constant with uploading the videos and like I'm confused as to where I should take a stand, what I should upload. But you know, I'm taking my time and I hope you guys can be patient with me. I have so much going on in my life right now, but I have to give everything a little bit of time. So sorry if I can't upload every other day as I plan to but i love you guys like i literally i really love you guys and thank you guys for watching as always and we'll see you in the next video